Well, Joyland was a story that I started writing um, somewhere in the beginning of 2016. I was still at Columbia doing my masters. I was in my uh, entering my second year of school, and so I just started writing it as part of uh, 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 a class, a screenwriting class. And uh, the initial germ of the idea was the story of a man, a woman, and a trans woman, sort of uh, you know, uh, bound together by this this love triangle, but also dealing individually with issues of desire and um, identity in a patriarchal society. And uh, which 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 just sounded like a very simple but exciting through line for me to be able to talk about uh, you know uh, ideas that I that the themes that I that I was very interested in, which is primarily patriarchy, but also you know ideas of freedom and tradition and modernity in in modern day Pakistan. Um, yeah. While making the film, I didn't think about anything. Honestly speaking, I didn't think of, I didn't think of it frankly as a, as a brave film or as a, that I was doing some big act of courage. I, my intentions were very selfish <laughs> in making the film. I think I was, I was just really trying to process things that I think about and and uh, uh, and creatively, just you know, uh, the intentions were purely artistic. I, I want to say that I didn't, I wasn't trying to create any awareness or create any noise with regard to the issues that I was talking about. Uh, I was trying to just be honest uh, and 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 be um, sort of have uh, a sort of more critical and empathetic look at 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 these things uh, for for my for myself, you know, for, for my own personal investigation into these issues, and hopefully just create an engaging film while at it. So no, I didn't uh, I didn't really think of uh, any of this while making the film. Very grateful, obviously. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a dream come true. It makes things very easy for you, hopefully. You know, just to get the audience to uh, look at the film and and uh, you know notice the film because eventually that's that's the point. You you uh, don't make a film to be able to go to festivals or to to win awards. You make a film because you want people to watch it and you want as many people to watch it as possible. I think that's that's ultimately what binds any and all kinds of films together. It's just sort of need for for an audience uh and and uh you know anything that brings the film attention and sort of puts it in front of the in front of more audiences is obviously a huge win and artistically speaking of course you know it, 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 it that kind of validation also just stays with you uh, especially at the first time filmmaker to be like oh I'm, I'm i'm actually maybe i can do this maybe i'm not so bad uh, as bad as i thought i was uh you know if, if uh, you know i'm getting some recognition from here there and you know these these uh sort of very prestigious and respected quarters of uh of cinema. How do I respond to the ban? I guess we responded by fighting the ban and getting it unbanned in most of the country. I think that was my response to we didn't say much but we were actively working to 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 make uh make that happen and uh, I'm glad that it was uh able to turn our a page and start sort of a new chapter in the you know in in, in uh, the history of film censorship in Pakistan because there's a long history of films that have been banned but this is the first one to get unbanned and I think that that's, that's something to uh, be rather proud of uh, and 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 to sort of you know hope that it's taken forward and and sort of this fight against film censorship you know continues in whatever the next film unfortunately is to uh, to face this uh, because there will be one. Uh, and i hope that it's able to you know overcome it and 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 remember and use this example as as uh you know the new status quo that you know you can't just ban a film and then you know that that's it for the rest of uh, the film's life uh we will fight it and and uh you know there's some of these archaic censorship laws that hopefully with time will uh, will not be a part of our system in pakistan The most challenging um, while making the film, you know, honestly, when you're a first-time filmmaker, you kind of are dreaming for all the challenges that that a film, you know, that 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 come, uh, you know, in your journey as a filmmaker, because you're hoping that you'd be lucky enough to actually be on set and and face a situation where you have to sort of, you know, find a solution for, you know, those are the dreams, really. Uh, so, so I I never really faced a challenge where I. looked at it as a challenge or a problem i was quite excited to be facing any and all problems that oh we're shooting and suddenly it rained you know how exciting i'm still on my first uh, the first day or second day of my film set you know because it actually happened but it didn't it wasn't something that bogged me down 
I was very eager in uh, you know the preparation of you know 31 years of uh, you know uh, 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 thinking and imagination of how I would solve all these problems as a director uh, to use now and to be like okay it's okay we can shoot inside here or we can you know postpone the scene or we can change the schedule or let's wait let's wait and uh, so I I I was too eager in giddy making my first book to really even recognize challenges as as problems I was quite excited by anything and everything but having said that it we had such an amazing production experience that I think I'm I'm quite I was quite spoiled by it because it was unusually smooth for for um uh, for a film that was you know a first film for many of us not just me for the actors for the producer for uh you know a lot of my ADs um and uh, it it was a rather smooth experience and a rather joyful one also Uh so the film had premiered in Cannes and we uh, uh you know sort of got a standing ovation and you know there was uh sort of a virality to you know some of that uh buzz from from Cannes which of course reached you know any and all Pakistani artists you know everywhere in particular and uh Malala met one of our producers at the lunch and he was expressing interest in seeing the film Riz was at Cannes he couldn't see the film there so he asked us to send him a link and we did and we were just happy enough to you know share the film with them and you know just see what they think about it uh but they were both you know sort of I, i guess moved by the film in a in a way that they wanted to be a part of it and we of course were you know so grateful and you know uh lucky to to even um you know have a show of interest from them um so it was a it was a very smooth process they watched the film they were like really like it you know we want to sort of you know enhance the profile of the film and you know bring more attention to the film and you know uh not just for the award circle but also just in terms of its release in the UK and the US and France everywhere and uh and and they did just that and and, and they've really just been great produce executive producers and also just great advocates for the film ooh yeah <laughs> the best comment i've had so far for joyland um i i don't know you know it's like there's many uh there's some reviews that you read they either on letterbox or you know uh there was a film critic called Rahul Desai who wrote a really lovely review i think uh it it's not that oh, the, the, nobody has praised the film this much but he just kind of analyzed it in a way that kind of was very much in line with the way i look at the film and uh, so i think Rahul Desai's review was something that i uh, i really enjoyed reading yeah I don't know what is next. I mean, uh, hopefully uh, I'm writing a couple of films and a series, but I don't know which one will happen first. Uh I'm also co-writing with my uh you know, creative collaborator of mine Jasmine Kanuchi who is an editor on Joyland. Um you know, we co-wrote her thesis film um uh, uh, you know, she was in the in Colombia with me. And so I'm focused on writing that with her which she's going to direct. Um and then hopefully sort of coming back to to something that I'm going to direct myself.